Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation. Welcome to another episode to my aviation news series. Today we're going to be talking about the future of the Boeing 7478. This is a follow-up to my video on the future of the Airbus A380. Uh, so welcome to any new subscribers that have joined the channel over the past few days. We're just going to begin by reading a little bit about the Boeing 7478. So if you didn't know, the Boeing 7478 is a wide-body jet airliner developed by Boeing Commercial Airplanes. Officially announced in 2005, the 7478 is the third generation of the 747, with a lengthened fuselage, redesigned wings, uh, and improved efficiency. The 7478 is the largest 747 version, the largest commercial aircraft built in the United States, and the longest passenger aircraft in the world. The 7478 is offered in two main variants, the 7478 Intercontinental for passengers and the 7478 Freighter uh, for cargo. The first 7478F performed the model's maiden flight on February 8th, 2010 with the 7478 Intercontinental following on March 20th, 2011. Delivery of the first freighter aircraft occurred in October of 2011 and the passenger model began deliveries in 2012. As of November 2015, confirmed orders for the 7478 total 136, 89 of the freighter version and 47 of the passenger version. So as of uh, November 2017, 122 of the Boeing 7478s have been built. Uh, in early 2014, the Director General of the International Air Transport Association noted that slower economic growth following the Great Recession has led to lower demand for air freighters. The world's air cargo fleet in 2012 was smaller than it was in 2003. However, the proportion of very large freighters in that fleet have increased. And Boeing's dominant position in the large fuel efficient freighters has offered the company an opportunity to protect its market share and its product line, despite the market weakness. Demand has been mostly for the 7478 freighter version, which accounts for the majority of the 7478 aircraft ordered. The large capacity of the 7478 is an advantage for the freighter version, not the passenger version though. Moreover, the freighter has no direct competitor, as Airbus competing A380 freighter version was cancelled during development. Uh, the customers who ordered from 2005 to 2007 include Cargo Lux, Nippon Cargo, uh, a few business jets, Atlas Air, Lufthansa and Cathay Pacific. In total, there have been 137 orders, as we mentioned earlier, with UPS still needing a number of the freighter versions. So now I think it's probably a good idea we bring up the 787, which is taking away a lot of the numbers of the 7478, and the A350 is also rivaling this. The uh, 787 has a total of 1,287 orders, and has delivered 625 so far, which is a massive contrast. Breaking that down, there have been 413 787-8 orders, which is the shortest version, 703 of the 7879, which is probably the more popular and the middle ranged one, uh, and 171 Bo Boeing 787-10 orders so far. Each year since 2014, there have been a steady flow of deliveries with over 100 in each year. The list of airlines who have in fact ordered the 787 crushes that of the 747A, with airlines like OK Airways, Qatar, Uzbekistan and Shemin all wanting a piece of the brand new revolutionary aircraft. Uh, this is the same for the A350, which has over 858 orders and has only delivered 133 aircraft. The 747-400, the 747-8's predecessor, had 694 orders and although quickly disappearing can still be seen in the sky today. With the introduction of the 747-8 for Qantas, we've already seen VHOJM, one of the classic 747s, leave the Qantas fleet and we will rapidly see all the rest of the classics disappear before the ERs go in the mid-2020s. Uh, this is happening with KLM and British Airways as well. United also just recently saw the departure of their last Boeing 747. So now I want to ask you guys, as we usually do, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you believe the 747-8 was simply brought out in the wrong time period, similar to the A380? Or do you think people are moving away from the double-decker aircraft and going for the 787, 777-Xs, a330 neos and so on personally i think that's what they're going for the 7478 was probably introduced in the wrong time similar to the a380 uh, i feel if it had been any earlier we would have seen a whole heap more orders of course there would have maybe been room for the airlines that ordered the 7478 to then convert to the 787 order if that was still going to come out however we really don't know as this is what has been placed in front of us now and we really can't change anything so leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe again if you're new, there'll be more aviation news to come in the following weeks, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.